Hello, welcome back to another top five video. This is my favorite top five X Men Silver Age cover. It was not an easy choice because you know I'm such a huge fan of Neil Adams. I could have easily pick five of the covers of his legendary short run and be done with that. But I want to spread it out, Sp spread it around, spread the love. And first up, X-Men 14. Love this cover. Perhaps the best cover with the Sentinels. Okay, just love it. Absolutely love it. Here's my gorgeous raw copy. Jack Kirby goodness. You know, Silver Age X-Men, early Silver Age X-Men, I can say between X-Men 1 and 40 something have fairly mild cover on the border borderline nothing exciting sometimes even boring cover in my opinion as much of an x-man fan that i am i find that many of their silver age early silver age cover to be the least exciting one as far as uh, you know, comparing it to you know spider-man fantastic four or uh even four but this is definitely a standout. So, right there's one. Next up, I just absolutely love the color scheme of this one. Great Kirby cover, even nicer than the 14 as far as the drawing is concerned. And I just love the red. I'm always a huge fan of covers that contain one color. This one is one of the occasions where you have the deep red. And it's a great drawing too, you know, I mean, it's just not just the color. Great, great cover. One of my all-time favorite Kirby X-Men cover right there. Can't leave this one out, right? Storanko. Gorgeous, Polaris cover. Green, yellow, plenty of crackles. It's just beautiful. I can stay at this cover all day long. No doubt, Storanko best as far as X Men cover. Whew. Need I say more about this cover? One of my favorite villain that is underutilized in the Marvel Universe. Just look at this, the living monolith. And the, the hand crushing the X-Men. For those that uh, have never seen the unused cover, you should look online where the X-Men was, uh, you know, the, the, instead of having the individual X-Men here, you have the living monolith crushing the X-Men logo with the X-Men on the logo. I like that cover too. I like that cover too. So it's hard for me to, to pick which one I like more, but uh, I wouldn't have complained if that was the original cover that's used instead of this one. Last but not least, this one, X-Men 58. No doubt in my mind, my favorite X-Men Silver Age cover of all time. Just beautiful Neil Adam drawing. And the color orange, yellow. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. I can't imagine the excitement I would have if this was, if I was seeing this on the rack the first time. How can anyone resist buying this book back in the 60s, right? That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.